What's up everybody? In this episode, we're gonna learn how to integrate the shooting mechanics and integrate the custom hitting mechanics. Let's say this frog needs to die. Boom, he's dead. Let's jump into it. So to apply the shooting mechanics, we're gonna have to explain how it works step by step and then we start with the elements. I'm gonna create a, sim a separate script for the shooting because I don't wanna put it in the fox because this one mainly handles mobility right so in that script we're gonna have a prefab and prefab is gonna be instantiated when we press let's say enter in front of the fox and then goes forward you know indefinitely for the sake of tutorial we're gonna make it indefinitely with a specific speed and whenever it hits something it's gonna die but when it dies it's gonna check if that other thing has what we're gonna call a listener, or I'm gonna say an action, do that action, and that makes that gives us the ability to have different uh, methods calling on different other objects. For example, when it touches this frog, I want the frog to die, and I gain one point. And if I wanted to touch, let's say, uh, let's say we have some sort of a lever on the other side, I want that lever to change sprite to you know unlocked, and then open some doors. You know, if I hit the wall. I want it to just die. No, everything is going to be dynamic. So let's start with uh, building the. Let's build the, the shooting item first. Okay, let's start from the beginning. The shooting item is basically a 2D sprite. So I'm going to go with sprite, and uh, because this uh, package doesn't have a lot of stuff, I'm going to like I mean bullets and things. So I'm going to go with either this. Or this, uh, maybe something else, something that looks like shooting. Now let's go. I'll go with this one, the block. I'll use this block as the uh, I want to say the shooting bullet. But feel feel free to have your own stuff like lasers, bullets, bananas, whatever. First of all, I'm gonna call it shooting item one. And then in here, we're gonna have to have a box glider, which is a trigger, and a rigid body. The reason we need rigid body is because we need to trigger stuff. And trigger requires rigid body. We're gonna keep it like this. Simulated kinematic is not gonna fall down. So that's all. So let's create a script called shooting item. Why I call it shooting item one is uh, we might have multiple stuff. Like let's say we have another shooting item that has different speed or a different shape. So we can make it dynamic. Shooting item. Inside, we're gonna have to create a couple of things. First of all, we're gonna have to create a speed. I'm gonna call it float speed. And I think that's all. And the other thing is the trigger. So on trigger, enter 2D. So we wanna do this when we trigger with a 2D element. First of all, I wanna avoid the player. If collision attack equals equals player, return. So just make sure that Whenever we shoot it, whenever it spawns in front of the player, it does not. It's gonna touch the trigger of the player, so it's gonna avoid it. And uh, we're gonna do two things. First of all, we're gonna trigger the custom action on the other object if it exists. Okay, and then destroy. This one will add it in a bit, but the destroy. It's gonna be simply destroying game object. Okay. I'm gonna write this thing here. Like if collision that get component, we have to check if that object has something called shooting action. We still don't have the script, but I'm gonna give it this if condition. We got this action and then action. All right. This is gonna be error right now, but let's comment it out. We'll add it in a minute. Next thing we need to do is we need to make this thing move. So let's say the, the fox is looking right, okay? And then we shoot it, it has to keep going right. But if you're looking left, it has to keep going left. There's one nice way of doing this. What I mean by this is like we have to call the right arrow, like the, the transform that right, which is this right here, and we have to multiply it by the x value of scale what that means is if the fox looks left 
is going to be minus left, minus 1. So this will work as a directional value here. So we're going to go transform that translate. Let's go transform that right, multiplied by transform the local scale, scale dot x, multiplied by speed, time dot delta time dot keep it like this let's see if the values are fine we don't need this we don't need this so we have the shooting item with its script ready all we have to do is we have to preset the value of the speed I'll go with that let, let's go with one for now or is it this one here yeah. I'm gonna make it one all right and we need to make this as a prefab so we made this prefab and let's make the action one so it's both shooting action it's wrongly it's written wrong but oh, forget the G come on okay, here we go shooting action if I can double click on it woo. okay here we go so we got the shooting action so we add this thing in here what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go public unity event if I'm not mistaken it's unity event right or unity action I'm gonna call it action and public that void action is basically gonna call this action if it's not not right let's see if I'm not mistaken Let's go back to the scene. Let's say I put this on the frog. Come on, load, load. Here we go. So if I go here and I call it shooting action. Yep. So what this does is let's add this one here and uh, give it, you know what, when we get shot, we delete the object. That's it. You know, we make the frog invisible or just destroy it. Technically, this makes it invisible, but for the player, the same. Let's hide this, and uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to make, make the scripts of the shooting. I'm gonna call it shooting. That's it. I know we have a lot of shooting wording here, but uh, you can call it whatever you want, and the naming convention is just for me easily to be detected here. In here, we have to give probably two things, three things. Public game object, shooting item, public transform, shooting point, and public boolean can shoot. For me, I'll keep it true, but this is, for example, let's say you run out of bullets, you can save that. An update, I'm gonna go if input that get key down, key code that return you can put other stuff in here you can have uh, get button and then create a button in the input field call it shoot we can get anything you want and here we can call shoot if can shoot oh, sorry if cannot shoot ret return otherwise um, we're gonna have to instantiate so first of all let's call it shooting item equals instantiate shooting item at the shooting point so one thing I want to make sure here is it instantiates this item in this point and makes this point the parent but the problem with this is if I make let's see if I put a point in here and make it a parent and this point is actually a child of this one so let's, let's put it here let's have this one shooting point okay let's bring it slightly more forward and make it one that's good shooting point and let's add the shooting in here we're gonna have an issue of rotation so if if something is in here look check this out if something is in here Let's say whatever is it is, it's like a box, right? If the fox flips, it's gonna flip with it. So we wanna make sure that 
we don't have this as a child but we want to make sure that it gets the shooting item uh, properties that means we can have to instantiate it and then release it from parenting which is going to be something here se.transform that parent equals null right with this we can make sure that we instantiate it in that place with those values but then we re remove it from that parent if I'm not mistaken this should be it let's remove the unneeded libraries if we click return which is enter we instantiate this thing and we let it go right so what, what we have to do next is we're gonna have to uh, test it on the on, on this stuff for example I'm gonna shoot the wall and I'm gonna shoot this thing here by default the shooting item this one as you, as we can see that we made this script where whenever it touches something it gets destroyed but again we have to enable this thing here if we have the shooting if, if that thing has a shooting item just trigger it now if we go back to the scene we have to test its speed I think uh, we can just put it here I have one, let's say, how fast does it go? I don't want it to be too fast, but then I don't want it to be too slow. Yeah, that's a really slow. Let's make it five. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with eight. You know what, that's good for me. Let's go hit, click here, go eight, that's fine. Let's set all the references in here. So we have the shooting item, which is this one. You can have your own stuff if you want. And we have the shooting point here. So if we start the game, I'm going to look left and shoot the wall so we can see how it works. Yep. So there's a problem here. We have to zero out this one. That's the main prefer has to be zero, zero, zero. Yep, that's a problem. So it's going to instantiate in front of the fox and keep going whatever direction we're shooting. If you go left, click, it goes here. Boom. It's done. Boom. You know? Boom, boom, boom. But if we shoot the frog, it's going to have to disappear see that's that's the cool thing about the uh, action event action so with this one we have the ability to shoot stuff and have a custom trigger on these other stuff and then of course we have we can dynamic we can make a the object dynamic and then different speed different colors different animations it's all up to you you can enhance from there and uh, that's all for this episode if you liked it hit the like and subscribe button to get all the updates and also hit me with the questions down below other than this i hope you enjoyed it and see you next one bye bye